What follows President Trump's emergency declaration at the border is still unclear. Currently, more than a dozen states plan to challenge it in court. Earlier this month, a group trying to fundraise for a wall on private land made its pitch in southern Arizona. I'm a citizen. I'm nothing more than a citizen of the United States. I feel deeply invested to this country. The We Build the Wall organization held a town hall hosted by the Quail Creek Republicans in Sahuarita. After a GoFundMe campaign failed to raise a billion dollars for its cause in time, the group became a nonprofit to continue collecting donations. Immediately after the town hall, we spoke to founder Brian Colfage about why he's taken on the initiative. I was fed up and I, I really didn't think it would be me that I didn't think it would evolve into this that fast, but I was just fed up with the way uh, things were going within the government and the politicians were handling it. And I thought maybe I, I could have a chance to influence something and have an impact. And uh, I guess it was just really good timing and uh, it took off. It may seem like a lofty goal, $1 billion, but a few months in you were at, at what that made you think, you know what, this is doable, I, I, this yeah. is manageable. Yeah, I think, you know, we raised $18 million before Christmas in one week. And that shows you the level of fundraising that we can achieve. Um, yeah, it's slowed down a little bit. Now we have private donations. We're set up as a, a corporation, a, a nonprofit. And um, yeah, I think once we start, you know, showing people that we're, we, we're serious and we're going to break ground and actually start building, it's going to ramp right back up again. So what does this wall look like? Where does it go? Who built it? Give us some idea on what you hope comes out of all of it. Um, the wall will pretty much look like what, the, what President Trump is building now. We might have a little modifications to make it better, um, to make it more efficient and cost efficient. Uh, you know, we're just, we're, we are going to be the people with the money. We will hire out contractors to go to the, on these private property, on the private property and, and build it. And uh, we'll handle all the logistics of it for the property owner. And it, it's going to be very simple as like if that property owner just wanted to build a fence. For the people who are not familiar with your story, what makes you qualified to, to kind of lead this charge? I don't think it takes anyone really qualified to lead the charge. Um, what makes us as a, a unit able to do this is, is our team. We're a team of people. We have the leading experts in all these different career fields on our team. Uh, you know, I'm the face of this thing, and I think people were gravitated towards me as the face of it because maybe they're, I don't know, because I lost three limbs, and, you know, I'm, I'm out there doing this, and they maybe they feel it's important because of what I've given. Well, that's just my aspect. And then, you know, we have people like Chris Kobach. He's the expert in border security immigration. We have people like Eric Prince, Steve Bannon, those are their political people, and they're, they're also experts in their field. We have construction guys. John Moran uh, had his hands on some of the biggest construction projects in the United States. And so I think as a team and as a unit, we are the most capable, probably one of the most capable in the United States right now to, to take on this project and build a wall. How, how are you measuring success? Well, I think when we first, when we break ground and start moving dirt, that's going to be the first, you know, check mark. We, you know, we're getting it done. And once we get that first mile up, another check mark, we're protecting that community. We start doing more miles and more miles and more miles and start fundraising and, and continuing this and getting the community involved and getting them, and, you know, this is their wall, this is the people's wall. And having all, doing all these things and all these milestones, that's gonna, what our success is going to be measured off of. We're going to be saving lives, protecting communities, bringing up property values along the border, and that's the success of this, saving lives. Let's get this wall built.